Are we doing a video on the cross-handed grip? It's funny you should say that, Dan, because that's exactly what we're doing now. Good evening and welcome to the channel. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. So today, just a quick video, we're going to talk about my chipping or yipping. Anybody who has seen me play on YouTube, either on Mark's channel, Dan's channel or this channel, will know that I've had a bit of a love-hate relationship with the short game. A little bit of background, I actually used to be reasonably good, or have a reasonably good short game. Particularly when I was a junior, I was a bit inconsistent, I'd hit the ball all over the place, but I could chip and putt. But after I turned pro, it's slow, I slowly started to see a few issues with the short game. And under pressure, whether I was playing a pro-am or an individual event, I was having some absolute nightmares where I'd either thin the ball through the green or hit it very fat and it's progressively got worse. The technique and the way we play a chip shot has evolved and changed over the years from when I used to play as a, as a reasonable amateur until I was teaching as a golf professional. And how I would teach now would be very much different to how it would have been 10 to 15 years ago. When I was teaching, we were told the feet close together, your weight onto your lead side. So if you're, if you're right-handed, you'd lean onto your left side, almost 70% of your weight forward. Ball position would be very much center of the stance. And then what you'd do is you'd have your hands pressed forward inside your left leg. So you get some shaft lean with the actual hands ahead of the club head. We would grip down the club as well for a little bit more control, particularly on the shorter shot. There was very little wrist hinge, if any. We were told to almost keep that wrist very much locked. But even from a longer sort of chip shot into a, almost a pitch shot, you were told lots of width and to let those hands stay well ahead of the club face through the impact. Another massive difference was how we actually stand. We'd have the ball, we said the ball position is in the middle, but we'd actually lean the shaft upwards. So we'd stand closer to the ball. And if you imagine the lie angle would be sort of in this area with the turf. So you'd have the sort of heel away from the ground and it'd be the toe that was making contact with the turf. Almost trying to remove as much bounce as possible. Here's a side on view of the technique I used up until my mid twenties. The issue with this particular technique is managing low point and having to be very precise with the strike. How we play a chip shot has also evolved and changed. Won't explain the new technique or the way of playing it, but all I'll say is that the modern coaches tend to talk about using the bounce of the golf club. For those of you that don't know what the bounce is, it is the angle created between the leaning edge and the lowest point of the sole or trailing edge of the golf club. And the ways in which the club work with the way that the shaft leans, instead of having the hands press forward or the shaft as leaning forward, we tend to have that more neutral or even slightly behind at times, using a lot more wrist action, lower hands, etc. But I won't explain that mainly because I don't know enough about it to explain it in such detail. I suggest if you want to know more about that, then go and check out someone like Dan Greaves, who's a short game coach at Woburn. He's got some YouTube videos and they're well worth a watch. The new technique seems so alien and I'm really struggling to make the changes and adapt from one extreme to the other. So the first significant change I made is I started to grip the club the wrong way around. In a cac we call it cack-handed, so my left hand was below my right. You'll see a lot of players adopt that particular grip for putting. Someone like your Jim Furyk was always left hand below right to try and get their shoulders perpendicular to the floor. When I started using this particular technique, it wasn't very popular and you would never see it on tour, but over the last sort of three or four years, you've seen the likes of Max Fitzpatrick playing that particular technique. VJ Singh was another one who's experimented with left hand below right. And it worked for maybe a year, 18 months. When I say worked, it wasn't perfect, but it was way better than when I chipped conventionally. However, like anything, I've lost complete confidence in that particular technique and I was duffing as many chips and finning as many chips as I had previously. So Here's a good tip for anybody who is struggling with the yips, whether that's putting, chipping or any area of the short game. So we have a dominant hand. It's the same with our eye. We have a dominant eye. You need to work out which hand is dominant when you're playing a particular shot. 
Easiest way to do it with putting is to putt one hand. It's to try putting with your left hand, hit a few putts of varying distances, and then do it with your right hand. You'll be considerably better with one of those two hands. Once you've established that, you can then make a significant change which should improve what you're doing. So I know my issues with short game is my right hand. When I putt, you'll see me, I occasionally rotate the face, so I try and keep the face at the target and end up pushing it to the right. So it's all dictated by my right hand. So what I've done is try to decrease the amount the right hand plays into a particular shot. I'll now pop a couple of chips on with this grip and we'll just talk about the grip as I'm playing a few chip shots. Gripping it quite tightly with the left hand at the top of the club and then very loosely with the right hand at the bottom. Here's a couple more angles of me using this particular grip and a little close up as well. Seems to work quite well for the very short shots, not so for the longer shots. Again, I've not reinvented the wheel and I can take no credit for this particular grip. It's one that's been used when people have putted for years. Justin Rose is someone who's used it. Tommy Fleetwood uses a variation of it. It's slightly different to what I'm doing myself, but I've basically copied the grip that Jimmy Bullard is using. And so far, so good. The results have been better. Not perfect, but better. Go, go, go. Nope. Didn't make the contact. That's the only problem with that grip. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that grip, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I get, well, it. I get it just around the edge of the green for chip chips, but... It's the only way I can play it, Dan, so I haven't really got a choice at the moment, all, um, unfortunately. Pitches. And Dan has highlighted one of the issues with this particular grip. When we're playing a longer shot, say 30 or 40 yards away from the pin, using a claw grip is very restricted and makes playing that shot and executing that shot very, very difficult. As a result, I'm going to use a more conventional grip on those slightly longer shots where we go from a chip shot into a pitch shot and we've been practicing hard at trying to maintain decent technique and to try and gain a bit of confidence through that technique that we can actually use it in competitions. I've slightly modified the technique as well. Rather than having the ball in the centre of the stance, which is what I was doing to begin with, I've actually moved the ball position further towards my lead foot. That is just basically preventing me from feeling like my weight is on my left side and trying to keep weight very neutral and hands almost sort of level with where the ball is and not press forward as, as it was before. Obviously this is work in progress and we're still hitting a few duff shots and a few fins but the regularity of those shots is decreasing which is only a positive thing. I am as well practicing now sort of two to three sessions a week of about an hour, hour and a half just to try and increase confidence, to try and make this technique more permanent and I think that it's going to be a constant battle throughout my time playing golf but if you put the practice and the work in then hopefully I can get a technique which is going to get me round the golf course. Golf is hard. Hope you've enjoyed that video, just wanted to explain how the short game is and what we're doing and the new technique because I do get quite a lot of questions asking what we're actually up to so hope you enjoyed that video remember if you're not subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button it really helps me to make these videos and push the channel on further thanks for watching I'll see you very soon <laughs>